All right, just before I upload the video, I want to just append an update. Just to explain what I did to build this uh, sump up. So what I did was I measured from the outside and I made some markings on the tank with um, a Sharpie. And I can remove the writing with acetone uh, once I'm done here. So I drew the lines and I outlined it with some masking tape. And that gave me a guideline on where to mount the baffles once I had drawn everything out. And then I used some cardboard boxes that I had sitting around just to kind of uh, balance the baffles. And so you can see what I've done here um, is I've masked the perimeter of where the baffles go with some masking tape so as not to um, make a big mess. And what we're looking at here is the air bubble trap along with the media tray. So these are all installed and um, siliconed in and I'm happy uh, with the result. So the next part that I have to do will be the end of the refugium here, which will be uh, piece number five. And I kind of want to cut through the baffle here, so I made some markings of some different ideas on top of the plastic wrapping. Again, all this can come off with acetone anyway. And uh, I want to cut through the baffle, but leave the top part intact so the water flows through the baffle uh, into the um, return pump area. So this is basically the last baffle uh, before the return pump. The return pump goes down here. I've got about six inches between that. And then the number six baffle is going to be the uh, reservoir. Uh, it'll be the automatic top off reservoir. I'll, I'll lay that down in there correctly um, when I'm ready to put it in. So this ATO is gonna give me about eight gallons of volume. So I'll be able to fill it up uh, with fresh top off water and then put a, um, an ATO sensor in this uh, compartment here to give me uh, automatic top off. So basically the sump will be self-sufficient, there won't be a separate container uh, for ATO um, and everything will be all good and I should have plenty of volume left over for overflows. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and silicone these baffles, these, these last two baffles in and um, I'm going to be doing a water change in the next day or so because I'm doing a treatment to uh, Project Fowler as stated. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna walk over there to show you where it is. Uh, ChemiClean is pretty amazing. So um, basically, uh, the next time I film, I should have this sump done and then I'm gonna use the, uh, the water coming out from the water change as a um, water test as well. I'm just gonna test it out on the floor. And, and, and see how the baffles are holding up. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and walk over to Project Fowler now just to show you um, the result of the ChemiClean. So you could see the cyanoalgae is all dried up now. Um, the ChemiClean has worked very well. I'm gonna leave the water intact for another day or so uh, so that all the bacteria or, or, or whatever it is that caused the cyanoalgae uh, dies off um, and then I'm gonna do a 20% water change uh, which won't be very much I will probably just lower the water till about right here and uh, change some of the water out and so what I did to uh, administer the ChemiClean was I actually just opened up the canisters uh, did some maintenance to the canisters and I put some scoops in each canister um, and treated the water in the canister and had it flow through the canister. So all the um, cyanoalgae that got into the canister should be all um, taken care of as well. So um, I can't say enough about ChemiClean. It's pretty amazing. And 
that's it. Go ahead and upload this and thank you for watching my video.